How was a massacre of Algerians in France covered up? On October 17th, 1961, in the heart of Paris, tens of thousands of Algerians took to the streets. They were protesting against the curfew and demanding independence of their homeland from French colonial rule. But the peaceful protests were met with gunfire by police. Estimates put the death toll between one and 300. Most of the details were covered up for years. An estimated 25,000 Algerians rallied peacefully in protest against a curfew imposed on them alone. Police responded without mercy, arresting nearly 12,000 and killing dozens, throwing their bodies into the river. Many others were taken away to sorting centers and then deported. On the massacre's 60th anniversary, French President Emmanuel Macron formally decried the deadly crackdown, and he was the first French president to attend a memorial honoring its victims. President Macron attended the official commemoration alongside relatives of the victims. He paid tribute to them, yet no word of an apology from the man who is running to keep his job in next year's election. Not even a public speech. But how was it covered up for so long? According to the BBC, the government of the day censored the news, destroyed many of the archives and prevented journalists from investigating the story and contemporary news bulletins reported three deaths, which included a French national. British historians Jim House and Neil McMaster said it was the most violent repression of a protest in Western Europe's post-war history. After decades of pressure, in 2012, then-President François Hollande became the first French head of state to recognize the massacre. But France has been criticized for doing too little too late. Its government hasn't held anyone accountable for the killings, and neither Macron nor Hollande have apologized directly or spoken of reparations. Many details of what actually happened and the true death toll also remain blurred. While a plaque next to the River Seine, where many drowned, doesn't put a number on those killed by Paris police in 1961, this October, Hollande acknowledged that a massacre of Algerian peaceful demonstrators then was a bloody repression. And President Macron has a checkered past when it comes to the North African nation. In an interview with Le Monde magazine, Macron caused controversy by saying Algeria has an official history which has been totally rewritten. He said this history was not based on truths, but on a discourse of hatred towards France. And he reportedly asked if there was an Algerian nation before French colonization. Algeria condemned Macron's remarks, recalled its ambassador, and closed its airspace to French military flights. It is conditional to the respect of Algeria, full respect of the Algerian state. France should forget that Algeria was once a colony. It is a state with all of its pillars. Macron defended himself, saying his statement was misunderstood. But his words opened a deep wound. France colonized Algeria for 132 years until 1962, following a bloody eight-year war of independence which claimed 1.5 million Algerian lives. President Macron acknowledged that France committed a crime against humanity in Algeria, but fell short of an apology. But criticism of France's colonial past isn't just about Algeria. France was once a major colonial power on the continent. By 1901, France ruled 79 million people across 12 million square kilometers. But even after ending its colonial rule, France continued to be deeply involved in the continent. During the 1994 Rwandan genocide, 800,000 ethnic Tutsis were killed. According to a report commissioned by the Rwandan government, France played a significant role in enabling a foreseeable genocide. Macron recognized France's failure in not stopping the killings, but said France was not complicit, adding that an apology wouldn't be the right word. 
French involvement in Cameroon's War of Independence in 1954 also caused the deaths of between 100,000 to 400,000 people. Most of the details we have comes from a book authored by French historians and journalists. And according to Anadoli Agency, as many as 29 countries that were colonized by France are pursuing reparations. For decades, France downplayed and essentially covered up one of the darkest chapters in its history. And although the killings were eventually acknowledged, the healing has been far from smooth. Because without an official apology, an account of what really happened, future generations will be left in the dark.